So blue light filtering technology, does it work? And the answer is it can work depending on which product you get. So this journey of mine began a few months ago when I installed a low light blue LED in my room. And I noticed that my vision was becoming uh, really poor really quickly to the point where I had black holes in my eye, or black spots in my vision in the morning. And so after doing a lot of research, I figured that it was the blue light being uh, well, that was causing the problems. And so I decided to switch all my lighting in my house to CCFL bulbs. But there was still one problem, and that is that the computer monitors that I use are white LEDs, and they still emit a lot of blue light. And so there are a few things you can do to combat this and help reduce that blue light. And today I'm going to talk about actual protection and that is glasses or protective filters and do they actually work so let's look at the contenders here starting from the bottom here we have the hardware stores big glasses then to the left of that we have some Elecom PC glasses which are touted to block as much as 65% blue light these are touted to block about 30% blue light then we have on the left here these are my current um, glasses that I use. They're also from the hardware store and they're touted to block around about 45% I think it is of the blue light coming out. Then at the back there we just thought I'd throw in some sunglasses for comparison and then to the right of that we've got some Jin's PC glasses which are touted as blocking up to 55% of the blue light. Behind that we have some Korean, um, oh, sorry no, so I say Taiwanese uh, panels, actual eBay specials that are meant to filter out blue light. So I'm going to be running a test with, as you can see here, I've got a UV light here, I've got a white light, and then I've got a blue light, a blue LED, and a red LED. So we're going to run some tests in the dark and we'll see how well some of these products work. So first up here we have the hardware store glasses and this is the first test I'll run is the reflection test. And we'll just see if there's blue light coming off these glasses. So these are the $10 hardware store glasses. As you can see there, there's blue light being clearly reflected off a white LED. So these glasses are clearly doing their job when it comes to protecting your eyes from blue light. So the next test we'll run here is the blue LED test where I just get a blue LED light and I just shine it through the glasses themselves. If the light gets weaker, then the glasses are clearly doing their job. As you can see here, the light is getting, in my opinion, substantially weaker. So it's past that test. Okay, so the next test here, we've just got a red LED light and I'm going to shine it through the glasses and then shine it on the actual desk itself. So sh it, basically this test is just the same as the blue, except this time around you don't want uh, red light being blocked out. So you can see there, there's not much of a difference at all. So these glasses are doing a good job when it comes to actually letting through the green and red light, or well, I'm going to assume the green light's getting let through as well, and blocking out the blue light. So next up here we have a reputable Japanese company called Jin's PC. These are $50 glasses that um, are actually, they feel pretty good, but anyway, let's run them through the tests. Okay, let's do the white LED test first, and this is just see how much blue light's being reflected. Not that much at all. I don't think this is 55%. Okay, so next up, let's do the blue light test here with these Jin's PC glasses. Okay, so it's blocking out a little bit of blue light there. Anyway, let's do the red light test. Okay, so here's the red light test. So it's letting through so I'm letting through practically all the red light. Jin's PC glasses, they did a little bit, but seriously, I don't think the 55 or 50% claim that they're making uh, doesn't hold true, especially to a white LED. This is the same technology in this LED, even though it's much brighter, that's going in the back of your monitors. Next up here we have, this is just for fun, some sunglasses. We're gonna see how well these do. So we've got the white light test coming up first here and we can actually see off the sunglasses a little bit, I'd say probably more blue lights being reflected off these than off the Jin's PC glasses. So the sunglasses, wearing sunglasses in front of your computer will make a little bit of a difference, ironically. Whoa, 
like that's pretty huge i mean that's that's blocking out a lot of blue light <laughs> but <laughs> that's to be expected from sunglasses which i'll show you in the red light test okay so here's the red light test for the sunglasses i mean it's blocking out a lot of red light but I think it blocked out a lot more blue light than it did red light. So <laughs> anyway, let's, sunglasses aren't too bad of a choice. Sunglasses, these are a pair of police sunglasses. So they're, I think they're a little bit expensive, but they actually work. Like if you've got nothing else and you don't know what to trust, then a pair of sunglasses will give you some relief from the ultraviolet and blue light, essentially, because I guess it's stated to block out more ultraviolet light than the other sets of lights, and the blue light spectrum is closer than the UV spectrum than any other um, green or any other source of light. Okay, so next up here we have the Ellicom glasses, which are touted to block as much as 65% blue light. And I will say one thing, these are definitely the most comfortable out of all the glasses I have here. But anyway, let's run it through the tests. Okay, so first up, we've got the white LED tests. Uh, we'll just see if it's reflecting blue light. Uh, I mean, it looks like it is reflecting some blue light, but really not a lot compared to the other contenders or especially compared to the hardware store glasses. So let's run it through the blue light and red light tests to get some more uh, insight on these glasses. Okay, so here's the blue light test with the Ellicom glasses. So we can see here they are blocking out, I mean, if we look at the center there, we can see that it is blocking out some blue light. Uh, well, actually it's quite significant, I think. Let's try the red LED test. Okay, so here's the Ellicom glasses with the red LEDs. So it is doing, it's not blocking a whole lot of red light, which is a good thing. Uh, so these glasses actually do work. So there's the Ellicom glasses. These things actually do work in their own weird way. I guess they're absorbing the blue light rather than reflecting it, which is kind of interesting. Or maybe they've got some different kind of technology going in there. Uh, but it's definitely, they're definitely doing a job of blocking out more blue light than red light, which is a good thing, even though the blue light wasn't reflecting off the lens in that particular test. So anyway, let's move on now to the next contender. These are the glasses I was wearing at the start of the video. These are my favorite little hardware store glasses. These were again were $10. Let's run these through the test. Okay, so next up we've got the hardware store glasses here and we can just see that they're reflecting that blue light. I mean, that's a lot of blue light coming off these glasses. So they're doing their job, and they're definitely doing their job when it comes to uh, reflecting that blue light. Next up, we've got the blue LED test here, so we'll just run it through that. You can see there it's, it's dropping the amount of blue light that's coming through by quite a bit in my opinion. I mean, that's, that's doing its job. So let's run the red LED test here, and we'll see how much of a difference it makes there. Okay, so here's the red light, or the red LED test. So we can see here, there's just nothing really happening. It's letting through all, the, pretty much all that red light's going through, which is a good thing. Okay, so hardware store glasses number two, $10 pair number two, does pretty much the exact same job as the other pair, it reflects that blue light. Uh, and lets the red light through. So these are a win as well. Okay, so lastly here, we've got a blue light filter off eBay that's touted as protecting your eyes from blue light. Let's run this thing through the tests. Okay, so here's the white light test. I mean, it just looks like it's reflecting white light. And when I first put this on my screen, the reason for doing all these tests was pretty much because of this filter. I just, it was like, whoa, okay, I'm not one to believe in placebo. And this is why it's just pretty much reflecting white light. Okay, so let's do the blue light test here. Um, I mean, on the panel, off the panel, on the panel, off the panel. This thing is freaking useless, right? I mean, the sad thing is, I actually paid good money for this, like forty dollars for this thing, and I'm pretty much all you're getting is a piece of acrylic. I mean, let's just do the red light test as well. So here's the red light test. You can see it's. I mean, it doesn't filter any blue light. Of course, it shouldn't filter any red light as well. 
Okay, so here's the UV light test. I mean, this is the last test I'm gonna give to this acrylic piece of shit. Uh, see if it's doing its job. I mean, it's filtering out a little bit of UV light, uh, but it's still letting even a lot through anyway, even at that, so. So here's the overview of the eBay panel and it's completely useless. So let's go over to a conclusion now. So in conclusion, there were some winners and there were some losers. Let's talk about the winners first because this really impressed me, my hardware store, man. It's a local hardware store chain that's selling $10 PC glasses and they do a really good job of reflecting the blue light. As we saw in that white LED test, that light was just coming off these glasses in mass. Uh, and then we did the blue LED light test. It was significantly reducing that blue light and then letting through a lot of that red light. So these get a recommendation, even though I don't think you could buy them where you live, which is kind of ironic. Uh, anyway, it goes to show though that not things aren't always what they seem. Though these do get a recommendation as well. These are the Ellicom glasses. These are around about $20 and they were significantly reducing that blue light. Even though the white LED test wasn't too promising, the uh, blue LED and the red LED test did show that the blue was getting reduced compared to the red. So these definitely do get a recommendation as well. Uh, let's get on now to a neutral, kind of a neutral recommendation, and that is the sunglasses. I mean, these things did a good job of kind of blocking out everything. I mean, I was surprised, but they blocked out more blue light than they did red light, which means that they will work for blocking blue light in front of your PC. So if you've got nothing else that you can trust in, or if you're saving for a good pair of blue light PC glasses or whatnot, these will work in the meantime. So that's just a decent pair of sunglasses. So let's get on to the losers now. And this is the part that really shocked me because the most expensive pair of glasses did not perform that well at all. And this is coming from a company that's called Jins in Japan. They're a very reputable company. And these were pretty much like, these are almost $50. So expensive, but they were inferior to the cheaper products, even the $10 hardware store glasses. So I was kind of surprised. These won't do that good of a job of blocking out blue light. Then we get on to the worst thing here, and this is borderline fraudulent. Like this is, I think this is disgusting because the person advertising this was putting a child as the advertisement, a child blocking out blue light. And as you saw in the test, this thing did absolutely nothing at all. And the whole reason for doing these tests was because when I got this thing, I thought it was doing nothing in the first place. And the testing just proved that. So this thing is absolutely useless. I'm going to get a refund for it. And this thing was, this thing was the most expensive. Well, actually it was just a little bit, I think it was $40. This thing was $50. So the most expensive products here came out dead last. So I'm kind of shocked, but anyway, I'm getting a refund on this. And I mean, just when, you, when you're looking for uh, PC glasses or blue light filtering um, products, just be careful what you buy. As for gunners, I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there, what about gunners? I've asked gunners for a review sample as I'd love to test their glasses and I'm waiting on their response. Though I'm pretty sure from all the reviews I've read about gunners, I'm pretty sure they will do a fine job. And one thing I would like to add though is what about other people who have tested other lights and lasers? Well, they're not putting lasers in the back of your monitors, especially four or five nanometer lasers. They're putting in white LEDs which emit blue light very strongly in that spectrum from 450 nanometer to 470 nanometer. So basically if you get a white LED, like I had here, it's gonna be emitting pretty much the same amount of blue light that the monitors, even though a lot more of it, than uh, the actual PC monitors are emitting. So it's in the same sort of spectrum. So that's something, so I think my tests are pretty decent, even though they're not like super professional as I don't have the most expensive gear to test, though they are pretty accurate in my opinion. So anyway guys, the whole thing just to come out of this is just be careful what you buy. And some blue light filtering technology just, well, technology just simply doesn't work and some works really well. So anyway guys, if you have any questions about this video or about blue light filtering technology, then drop a comment in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button or hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to Tech Yes City. And I'll come back to you guys with some more tech news and reviews. Oh yeah, and you can click the links on the side, help support the channel, or you can check me out on social media. Peace out for now, bye. Now for the graphics card, this is the most important part of your build. And for the value for money here, the R9 280 at 250 Australian dollars is pretty damn good value for money. Uh, so if you want to step it up to a better graphics card, your next thing up is like an R9 290, which is going for...